my philosophy on on team discipline is pretty simple. Number one, I don't like to coach drama, so I don't recruit drama. So before the kids even get here, we try to do a very good job and be very diligent about only bringing students to Penn State who fit the values, the culture, the ethic that we know we want to coach and we know our program is about. So if they don't fit it, doesn't matter how good they are, it's not going to be a great fit at Penn State. So we don't bring them here. That's that's the most probably the most important thing that we do in terms of team discipline. For the kids that do come to Penn State and get the privilege of wearing a Lady Lion jersey, we really only have four rules. Be on time, go to class, attend all meetings and appointments, and act with class and dignity and grace at all times. If you choose not to follow those rules, then you choose not to be a part of our program. It's, it's that simple, and our kids understand that. The reason we only have four rules is because I only have rules for things I want to manage and that I can manage. If there are things that I don't want to manage or that are not really that important to manage for our team, we don't have a rule for it. If there are things that are important but we really can't enforce it, we don't have a rule for it. In addition to our four rules, we have expectations and we communicate those expectations to our, to our team on a regular basis. Uh, some of the expectations that we have, we expect our team to communicate with each other in a positive manner. That could also be acting with grace, class, dignity. We expect our students to dress appropriately for whatever situation they're going to be in. Again, that can be considered acting with class, grace, or dignity. So our expectations um, really align with our rules so that there's always this understanding of what it means to be a lady lion. What does it mean to be a Penn State women's basketball player? And how does that look? How does that sound? How is that communicated verbally and non-verbally whenever we are and wherever we are?